Welcome back. It's all the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. We have one more discussion before we call it a day. Both chambers of the National Assembly finally passed a student loan bill sponsored by the Speaker of the House of Representatives himself, Honorable Fenwick Bajabia Mila. Maybe the man might just end up being Minister of Education with his uh, work so far. Now, this bill aims to enable Nigerian students in higher institution, uh, institutions of learning have access to financial assistance. The proposed legislation titled the Bill for an Act to Provide for Easy Access to Higher Education for Nigerians through Interest-Free Loans from the Nigerian Education Bank, established uh, in this act with a view to providing education bill for rather education for all Nigerians and for other purposes connected thereto. That's quite a, a mouthful. Well, the House passed the bill earlier this year and forwarded it to the Senate for concurrence. Uh, with the Senate's concurrence, a clean copy uh, would be procured or produced and transmitted to Mr. President Muhammad Buhari for assent. Um, once again, uh, once it's signed into law, Nigerian students will begin accessing the loans. Quite an interesting development, but a big question is can Nigeria successfully implement this idea? Is Nigeria ready for student loans? I'm glad to see we have joining us this morning uh, to discuss this. Um, an educationist, Professor Abiola Awoshika Fapetu, she joins us live via Zoom from Lagos. Uh, Professor, good morning. Thank you very much for your time. Good morning. Good to be here. Fantastic. Let's let's uh, just hit the bullseye straight up. Is, is Nigeria ready to do what the Americans have been doing for 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 so long and still haven't perfected, having student loans? Well, I, I don't think uh, we need to worry about what anybody else is doing. Uh, let's look at the situation that we have on hand. Do our people need help uh, getting? quality education? If the answer to that is yes, then what the government needs to do is let's examine whether we can give these loans to them. If we think we can, then we should. Now the problem that will occur is when the students graduate and they can't pay back. However, you know, the, the, the banks have they've, they've tested the waters. Uh, if you know some of these uh, short, short loans that they've been giving to individuals in, within Nigeria, uh, they've tried to uh, master what it is to, to get Nigerians to pay back. So if we can fine tune that, I think, yes, we should give these students the opportunity uh, you know, to get good quality education. Interesting. Uh, you, you, you just said, you said it all. The, the issue, the question will be about paying back these loans. Um, uh, how do you think this should work, first of all? Should this be for the benefit? Because I don't have a copy, a clean copy of this yet, but... Uh, we can we can discuss we can we can talk about it till we can see what it, the the details are. Should this be just for students in public, you know, institutions? Should it be for students in private institutions as well? Um, should we look at just a tertiary education? Do we need to expand it to other levels of education? What, what do you think? How do you think this should work? Well, I, I think they should start small. I mean, let, let's let's start with the uh, the tertiary uh, institutions. And let's try it with uh, public uh, universities. Uh, because by the time you go to private, you know, the bill is getting bigger. And uh, it might be difficult to, uh, to handle. So it's new. Uh, it's, uh, it, let, let's test the waters with uh, institutions of higher learning. Uh, they need money for... Uh, 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 housing, they need money for textbooks. I mean, they, they may not be paying a, a high tuition right now, now, but you know, the expenses of keeping uh, upkeep for them is very paramount. So let's start with tertiary institution first. 
And then if it works, we can now include private institutions as well. Okay. But, but and then maybe secondary schools and so on. We're told, uh, I'll put it that way, we're told, or they say that tuition remains free, you know, in Nigerian public un universities. Um, so they don't pay for the, uh, for the tuition, all they pay is for, uh, they pay for, for charges, you know, um, of not more than about six, yes, you know, maybe in the, in the region of about 60,000 a year. So if, if the government is looking at loans for students in public tertiary institutions, for instance, I mean, what's the aim if tuition is basically free, like they say? Oh, well, um, yes, tuition is free. And, you know, uh, this is probably once, once the loans are, are managed well, it probably gives this uh, higher institution the need, I mean, the possibility of maybe uh, hiking the fees. I don't know. But if you ever had a child in university, you'll know that it's not just tuition. You know, they have to, I mean, I, I think at least there's a, a, a I have a, a, a niece that it's 300,000 uh, to keep her in school because, you know, she has to pay for her dormitory. She has to pay for books. I mean, you have uh, uh, devices, you know, that, you know, you have to buy uh, laptops and, and stuff like that. So such things would require loans not just tuition. Hmm. Okay. Uh, um, would you rather government looks for a way in investing any money they would put into this? Because I, I suspect you know, they might bring in some of the private sector players. Uh, but this is an education bank, uh, which probably will be government run. Do you think they should put the effort into improving the tertiary institutions and education institutions across board in the country? Uh, um, as, sorry, as, as, as priority, yeah, I'm saying, I'm saying, I mean, government is going to invest in, in this um, to a large extent. Do you think that the priority for government in terms of where they put their effort and apply their attention to should be as a matter of priority in improving education in terms of facilities, in terms of uh, the welfare oh, yes. of teachers, in terms of improving the curriculum? Oh, absolutely. Um, again, this is because this is the topic that we are talking about. Uh, if, 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 you know, if we are to tell ourselves the truth, uh, this is not the first thing we should be talking about. Uh, it is, you know, improving our institutions, uh, expanding access <clears throat> to uh, other Nigerians who want, you know, uh, higher education, uh, in improving the lot of the, the lecturers, improving the lot of the staff. Uh, that should be our primary aim. Uh, but, hey, this is what they think they can do. Uh, and so this is what they, they, they have on the table. But for me, I think uh, Mr. Bajabi Amila should probably find a solution to uh, how we get our institutions to be world class before we even begin to uh, give loans to the students so that they can pay for the world class education that we will be charging them for. Hmm. All right. Because it I still think, I still think uh, uh, tertiary education is too cheap in this country. That's why other people are flocking into Nigeria and, you know, taking our people away. Hmm. You know, we train them for free and then they come and, and, and take them away. Hmm. And that, that is a problem which, uh, you know, needs to be discussed uh, 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 more. I mean, you, you've said it before on this, on this uh, uh, channel that you think uh, that education is too cheap in the country. Um, <laughs> and, uh, the, Anid, you're so right it to say... <laughs> And indeed, you're so right to say that we train doctors, we train nurses, we train, you know, people who rise to the ranks of professors and uh, our countries take, take them away without even giving Nigeria any compensation, which is, which is totally wrong. I totally agree with you. Um, um, I'll go back to the United States of America. 
um, and to the workability of it. So we can look at that as a, uh, um, a case study for the workability of this in the country. Uh, Joe Biden has had to, since he became president, embark on a student loan uh, debt forgiveness plan in America because the students, they are finding it difficult to pay back their loans. Um, what has happened in the United States of America, you're very familiar with that system, uh, ma'am, is that you, you graduate from the university and you get a job. You can even start working while in the university and while you're working, you pay back um, your loans. Well, in Nigeria, the jobs are simply not there. A lot of university graduates are struggling to scrape by. You know, the people who have never even practiced years after leaving the university, who have master's degrees, are uh, driving taxis today on the streets of Nigeria. Um, if uh, the job market is, is really this poor, there's a high level of unemployment in the country, where are they going to get the money to pay back these loans? Isn't this a problem? Uh, well, yeah, again, uh, these are some of the questions that the House should have asked themselves before they pass uh, a, a loans uh, a, a bill. Um, uh, their situation in, in America has gotten very, very bad. And, you know, they too have unemployment. Uh, I mean, you get out of college uh, and you have about fifty to sixty thousand, uh, maybe a hundred thousand dollars worth of loans, and you don't know how you're going to pay. So I can see Biden stepping in and trying to alleviate uh, some of the problems that they have. Um, for us in Nigeria, it's it's probably still too early. The amounts are probably not going to be very much. And it's you know to test the waters, and also uh, right now the parents are the ones uh, probably paying for their children to be in these tertiary institutions. So it will be helping the parents, even though it is for the benefit of the children at this time. So if a parent could find a if if a, if a child could find a loan and the parent could pay for it, then it might probably help those who really need it. Hmm. All right. Uh, uh, the credit system is not something that works well in this part of the world. You know, we know you said that we, 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 we spend what we have, and um, it's helped us to live within our means, you know, as opposed to America where you can get things on credit because they have uh, a good, you know, you know, rating system. They can give you your credit score. Uh, they can track everyone. They know your address. Here, we don't have that, you know. Um, you mentioned the the, the, the the new loan companies, what are called loan sharks. Um, we, they're finding it difficult to track and to get some persons to pay the loans. And then you have uh, every now and then the odd text that come, text message that comes into your phone saying somebody you know is owing them uh, X, Y, Z amount of money and persons a criminal is wanted not to be trusted, blah, blah, blah. Uh, these are the issues we're dealing with. Um, uh, do you foresee a high level of, um, of bad debts at the end of the day? Oh, sure. Uh, so, I mean, for me, I think this is just a way, uh, you know, it's interesting. And, you know, you get the loan, and if you walk away, there's really not much that we can do uh, to get the, the money back from you. So I think this would just be another way of you know, give, giving, giving out free money because we're not ready yet you know, to, I mean, yes, we have the BVNs, we have, you know, but uh, we, don't have a, we don't have the jobs that we can, you know, uh, 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 like, uh, uh, I think that it's 5 pay or something where you attach, you, 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 you call the employer, and you tell them, you know, you, you shouldn't pay so such and such. You should pay the money to us because he's owing us. You can't do that because you don't have jobs for these children uh, to go into. So unless you're going to have a guarantor who is going to guarantee that this student is going to pay, and then when anything happens, you pick the guarantor. Mm -hmm. And then that is who you hold. And that is who you tag to salary you tag otherwise it's it's impossible okay. very interesting very interesting um 
I'd like to take you on, on this uh, free education issue. Um, some people will, will, will argue that, that Nigeria can totally afford to provide free tertiary education. And they say, I mean, for an oil producing country like Nigeria, with the population Nigeria has and the wealth Nigeria has, um, the government can, can fund education and ensure that every Nigerian child uh, or a certain amount of children can afford, uh, can afford to go to school without paying a dime and without going for a loan. Uh, some have argued, have said, you know, those who are in government today, in their time, they made it out of the villages and rural areas and the families, indigent families, because there was something called government scholarship. Government scholarship today is almost dead, if not dead at all. And it's a sad commentary, some will say, on the state of the nation. Now, should we be looking at rejigging or reviving, rather, the scholarships where you know, the young boy and young girl, or the boy and girl, rather, from the village can aspire to become whoever they want to be tomorrow. You know, get the highest level of education they can get because government will pay for them, instead of looking at loans. Well, um, first of all, in, in, in our days, uh, we, uh, uh, we were not 200 million. And as far as funds are concerned, today, today, there is transparency in what money is coming in and how we're spending it. I mean, I, I belong to a group and somebody just posted something uh, in the last month or so that shows, uh, and this is, I think it's a, it's a legitimate, maybe it's budget or something that shows you know, where uh, Nigeria's money is coming from, what it's spending it on, and where it's owing, and you know, how much it's owing, and, and all of that. So we all see it. And so I want these young people to show me where the money is. Yes, we should have scholarships, but it should be for the few. It should be on a need, on needs basis not a blanket uh, scholarship for everybody. I, I, I still believe that we should have a, a structure that, you know, you, you find out how many children we ought to have in the tertiary institution at any given time, and the government gives all of us the same amount of money. If you are going to, okay, this is, you have a million naira for your education. So you each get a million naira. If it costs uh, a million to go to tertiary, fine. If it doesn't, then find loans to make up the difference. Or you find the school that will accept your million naira to give you quality education. So that way, every child has an opportunity so that nobody is supplementing other person's children. We're all Nigerians, and yet we can only absorb about 600,000 in our university. What about the rest of us? What are we supposed to do? So we should look at those things that, you know, keeping university education as elitist, because only a few can get in. But if there's an opportunity for all of us, and we have the same amount of money, and if my family is well-to-do, and they can borrow money for me to go, fine. If they can pay for me to, to go and not borrow money, fine. But we all get the same amount from the government that you know, sees to our education. So there, there's a lot of questions and a lot of answers that we need to, to find in, in the issue of education in this country. Very interesting, uh, Professor Abiola Awoshikafapi. To maybe in the future, we'll have to match you with somebody for a debate on whether whether education should be totally free or not. <laughs> I, totally, I love that. All right, totally appreciate your time. It's always a thrill to have you on the breakfast, and uh, have a fantastic day. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. All right, mm, bye -bye. All right. that's the size of our package right here on the breakfast. I'll return tomorrow with the ultimate edition. Um, of course, uh, don't forget you can follow us on the social media platforms uh, Plus TV Africa on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on YouTube. And also the second YouTube account, Plus TV Africa 
uh, lifestyle. The website is out there as well. You can check us out for the latest news. My name is Kofi Bartels. On behalf of everybody, the entire team, thank you very much for your time. See you tomorrow.